On behalf of the EFD group, Mr Bloom, for two minutes, please. Well, uh, President, uh, Commissioner, you know, Mr Draghi, I'm always uh, impressed by your totally non-compromising support of the euro, doomed, of course, though we all now know it to be. It appeals to this certain Englishman. There's a sort of Shakespearean quality, I have to say, Lear-like. Uh, It puts me in mind of uh, his great speech. He shall do such great deeds, he knows not yet what they are, but they shall be the terrors of the earth. Can I make a plea for my friends and their families in Cyprus? A microbrewer who had his uh, savings in a bank to start uh, a microbrewing company, not a rich man at all, but of course it was more than 100,000 euros because it was his life savings. A retired British Army officer whose life savings have all all but now disappeared in the great Cypriot bank heist. Of course, the big boys got their money out early, didn't they? It's always the little people who get shafted, isn't it? I'm not totally convinced that you really care about them. Can you give me an assurance that you will do whatever it takes to get these poor people's money back? We now have a system, a situation, which the previous speaker, Mr Epic, alluded to quite rightly, the Fed, the Bank of England, the ECB, the the, the Bank of Japan, all completely bankrupt holding mountains of junk and bonds bought with counterfeit money. Let's all blame the retail banks, but it's the central banks where the cancer starts. Politicians, bankers and lackey bureaucrats should be arraigned at an international financial tribunal in The Hague in the same way as war criminals. Um, okay. Do you accept the blue card? There is a blue card for you. Mr. Bloom? Yes, do you accept? Please. Yes, please. Mr. Goebbels. Madame la Présidente. Madam President, Mr. Bloom L'euro et la banque. has just unloaded his uh, bile against the euro and the central bank. He says that the euro is doomed. Could he tell us why his country, that's not a member of the eurozone, has economic indicators that aren't actually all that brilliant, and why in the last 10 years has the UK always had a higher inflation rate than the eurozone? Is the EC bank jet policy actually as bad as he seems to think? Let me assure you that United Kingdom politicians and central bankers are no less stupid than the people out here or the people in Washington. Believe me, uh, they disgust me just as much. They have absolutely no idea and they are bankrupting the United Kingdom just the same way as this organisation is bankrupting uh, Western Europe. Yes, yes, I take your point very well.